Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Oh boy, I was skipping almost a week playing this due to other stuff, but I'm mighty happy to be here. I also saw the Grimlir today. He was up all night playing this game. He was quite addicted to it, so to say. It's an open world and he's playing it for a quite long time. And he was like still only 55% of the quests completed. So I'm pretty sure this game has like a million quests. Also I figured out how this works. If you have not seen my Twitter account, I've posted a picture of it. So the stuff is going from left to right as like in a reading order in, in most countries. And the numbers here correspond, I mean the question marks here correspond to, to numbers. It's a math puzzle. So you see here zero, one and something something and all together it equals to four. So you need to went with uh, zero, one, so you need to go with three. So that strange creature there, the third one from the bottom was the solution. So three plus one equals four. And the second one here was, you know, nine, two, something and Hydra. And the Hydra is four. Right, so if you take uh, six and, and the middle number is nine, so that should leave you with seven, eight, nine, so that's three. So, oh, wait a second, I'm, I messed that up. <laughs> so that's supposed to be the, the, the strange creature, the third one there, is it? Uh, anyway, I, I, I'm not sure if it starts from zero or one, but the, the, the point is that it is uh, opening with like, you know, summing up the numbers. I know, I, I'm not the prime example of Ravenclaw magic and brains. But let's move on with our lives without questioning my ability to do math in this early day. Oh, no, not Protego. Hold on. I did to do the Revelio. I just actually forget how to do it. <laughs> Revelio. That's the one. It was not revealing anything yet, though. Was that the annoying orange? <laughs> All right. Hi there, ghost man. Oh. Rebellion. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas. The Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. Yeah, he was trying to teach the dudes. Some of them was working. If you look at the top right one, that was doing a semi-pirouette, I guess. Now that one, the top two are getting it. Just this bottom one is too lazy to do it. <laughs> Rebellion. Hey there, dude. Mm 
I see a Taurus there. Me likey. I'm not actually sure where I'm going, but it looks like an astronomy tower. Astro- I was spot on. Oh, there's a secret way here. It's probably not the main astronomy tower, but it leads us higher and higher, so... You know, what I do, I explore. So I explore this. Someone's private quarters. Oh, there's another... Not Levioso. Not Levioso. Lumos. That's the one. So I'm looking for sort of like a balcony. And that's good. Hi there, dude. Eating popcorn. Reload. Golden Stitch Scarf. I'd like to think that I did that, but I guess that the ghost is invulnerable. Oh yeah, here it is. Where is that Lumos? Lumos! The third one. That looks like the balcony, I'm not sure if it's the balcony. It might not be the one. Hi there, all. Who's just balancing here and shivering? Let me look out. I can't look out from my head. This game needs a photo mode. Alright. This needs an interaction button. Let me go a bit further up. Oh, there are multiple of these. Oh, there is the... Lumos! There is the butterfly we need to catch. I will come back here in a moment. In a moment. I just drive this back to where it belongs. Which would be this one. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We collected another field guide. And I wanted to go back to this room just to check it out. One thing that Hogwarts Legacy is a bit strange on that it can teleport you away before you could loot. So you need to be very specific about you know what you want to do with an area before you are allowed to move out. Oh, look at all that waterfalls. I bet there are some treasure behind them. These are some nice castle stuff. I really like it. And we can traverse that world eventually. Revelio. Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. Well, it's not the night sky, but I would really like to view something. Oh, look at that! That's the Quidditch court! 
which I guess will be a DLC at one point. Or that was probably trademarked and that's why they were having to remove actual Quidditch matches. Alright. That was the Astronomy Tower. It was an interesting find. And I thought this was not the main entrance to it. Turns out it was. Guy with the popcorn. One more stairs there. And I think there was some other pass to the right. Right. Off on another adventure, are we? Are we? Of course we are. Eel corn. Yeah. I played too much Witcher to not know where that will go. Here, shut your auntie. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that the Irish astronomer, astronomer and British astronomer both built upon the work done by Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting the meteors to comets. Me meteor to comets. Brilliant, really, one can only imagine what they might do with an enhanced telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar, whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity. The reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our, to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What the hell is that? What an adventure we shall have. Miss you, dear sister. Hope you are well. Huh. All right. Rebellion. Nothing to reveal. Oh, this is like the round table of astrologers. I think I cannot access yet. All right. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Not yours, though. All right, let me see what the main quest is. I want to do a little bit more of that because the world is still just Hogwarts Castle. And I really, really freaking want to do that. I mean, to explore the outside world. Oh. Right, can I? Oh, done. I'm in the tower and I'm supposed to go... Bell Tower Wing. And I think I discovered this one. Let me fast travel there. That seemed to be the closest point to where we need to go. Rebellion. He's right. Alright, Broken Broom. This Broken Broom belonged to Celine Whitenaby and it rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if we get to the moon, we will find that one. Alright, this way. Wait, there's another one here. Did I pick? I think I picked this one up. Rebellion. I remember this hole. It says 60 meters that way. Let me see if I need to go through here. Yeah, this seems to be a bit closer. Level 
Oh no. Oh no. This might not be the way. But, or is it? 26 meters. And we are in the dead end. But, or are we? Dang it. This castle is a maze. So close, I can almost lick it. Oh, here we are. I got lost. Ah, come on! Come on! <laughs> uh, wait, is this a door out? Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? Oh, I was off. thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. What a Deke. Oh, excuse Deke. Ah, there you are. There I am. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. <laughs> I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? None of your business. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Oh, goody. More work. <laughs> I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, Please regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Oh, yes. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Yes. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Cool. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Not even the guys in Diagon Alley. They matched Harry Potter with their wand in the future. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Nice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I have not. Who is Natty? Oh, that's the girl who beat me at the ball pulling game. Hmm. I, I was. I'm still salty about that one though, because I got the points. And the ball was off the court after I got the points, and then the points were reset. And I lost because of that. I think I go with Sebastian. You know, the standard bully. 
I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Thanks for it. Uh, Once you've finished Professor them, Ronan's then. assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Again, with selling me alcoholism, woman. <laughs> By the way, the name of oh, speak to Professor Ron to receive your first assignment. Assignments are type of quest that are given to you by Hogwarts professors that's on completed reward you with new spells. Reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Repairo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments in the progress in quests menu of your field guide. All right. So what I wanted to say that that hogs need. When I first heard about it, I was like, yeah, mead, um, a place to get more mead. But it's spelled differently. But I guess the English people here had some, you know, wordplay. Because it is. Sorry, prof, I'm stealing your money. <laughs> the English people here had some wordplay, but it's mead nevertheless. Even if it is spelled differently. Alright, she seems very busy not minding me wrecking up the place. I think this is her classroom. Let me do a parallel roll into here. There's an octopus in the chair. Rebellion. Yo, the field backstage. Alright. Partially transfigured teacup. Likely the soon to be reversed error of a second year. Serves as a cautionary tale of those students who don't take seriously the complexities of dangers of transfiguration and it's missing from the jar it was half a rat in that picture so there might be the case that it was just simply run away I like the mad hat I really want that one Rebellion. Butterflies. Alright, let's talk with that prof. Oh, the bowler prof. Ah, there you are. Yeah. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Does it work on it people? It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. Mm -hmm. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Let me guess, it's about smashing a lot of things so I can repair them later. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. Correct flying page near broken statue. Uh, mm, uh, oh, here. This is the right area. 
I wonder what it is. Got it. Oh, that was quick. I'm a natural talent with smashing buttons. Professor, why oh, no, must no, I no. complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience that, as you proceed that. to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. How many are there? Quite flying fish in the defense against dark arts tower. All right, so there are more. I thought there's only one page. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Come here. And that was the second one. Let me guess, the prof was just making these pages fly around. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Review, now, sir. wand at the ready. Yes, sir. All right. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, yeah. As an engineer, I take pride in repair. -o. Any charm repairer can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, Prepare. have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover was yes. too accurate to flash down. Yeah, she looks very heartbroken, but at least with a full of stash, I can see that. Jesus Christ, I, I messed it up again. So what I wanted to say is that she has a huge bag of coins, so heartbreak might feel a little bit less painful with a full pocket of coins. Or so they say. Alright, Prof, I have to repair all stuff. I can't heal your birds out. Alrighty. Next task. Oh, wait, is there a. Wait, wait, wait. I've seen an icon. Somewhere here. Is it in the bush? Rebellion. Oh no, it's there. And I think the door to that is there. Hold on. I think this will require basic math again. Oh yeah. Reveal it. Oh no. Another math puzzle. Alright, so let's try the first one. It's 11. That one. And question mark. So, 21 minus 11. That's 10. And minus the head, which I guess should be 3, is supposed to be like 7. I guess so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's supposed to be the uh, the newt for the first one. The newt, and the second one is um, seventeen minus. Right. Disturbing my toad. So 17 minus the 
crab minus the octopus. So the crab is uh, there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. So it was 17 minus uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It should be 11 minus that one, which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Minus 10, that should be like leaving us with one. So I guess this owl creature is supposed to be the second one. Let me place the second one. Where's the second one? Oh boy. That was it. Half a bottle of flabbergasted leech stirred clockwise. Oh, uh, wait, is it that, that it's locked behind this one? So I need to... I need to learn lock picking in order to get in here. Ah, dang it, son. I was so good with this. I even figured out the math. It was normally around here, next side. Oh no. Loading screen. Alright, so I guess... Since I don't see... The other one, so it, it must be, it must be behind here. But uh, it's not interruptible at the moment, so... Yeah, I just need to come back later. Ah. Uh. Disappointing! Welcome to Hogsmeade. Alright. And it should be... 72 that way. And I need to, I need to go here, right? And then I need to go... Like up here. I really have made a mess of things. You. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Aren't you see, we all? I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Cool. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madam Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Hmm. Yeah, right. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Like mine. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Nice. I like this one. But let's do that. <laughs> Is this the... Oh, it's the library. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Look at that. One. Only four more to go. Oh, I see one more there. Two. Three. 
I saw one going in there. Is this something shimmering? I don't see the book though. Anyway, since we are here, we are looking around. Someone's library money. Revelio. Look at that. Very fancy. Professor Black. Might I suggest a bad old magic in the library? Someone had been sneaking to restricted section and Casida Blue seems to think of the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most destructive. One night consider peace tame by comparison to such antics. Cheers. Librarians are assholes here. <laughs> anyway, this is probably an exit of some sort. This is a private reading room. And this is so cool. Revelio. Reveal me this our secrets library. Flower pot, and I see. Huh. Oh, yeah, I can roll through that. Repair. Let me go. Akio, Lumos. None of this will work. Lumos. Let me go. There isn't anything here that I can immediately decipher as how to enter that area and get that chest. This is something where we need to come back later, I guess. Oh yeah, the study body circle. And the table is writing itself. Very cool. Rebellion. I heard some tingling. How nice to see you, my young friend. We ain't friends yet. All right. Oh, did, did I see? This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Huh. Today was a good day. That is until Garrett splashed what, whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start it all over again. He's such a menace. He thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't a Professor Weasley's nephew, he wouldn't have been exp he would have been expelled by now. Nepotism in Hogwarts. Are brought smoke smokies smoke smokes again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although, I still prefer meat pie. Blech. Nice girl. Horrible taste. Revelio. That's a lock I can... Oh, this is probably the restricted section. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will broke into that one one day. 
tam 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 I think it's need to go up. I see something shimmering there. There you go. I have one more left. Revelio. Mushroom drawing. I love this drawing. This is a very great. One of the reasons I was actually looking for buying the art of Hogwarts Legacy is because it's full of these. Absolutely lovely drawings. This is a nice library though. It's quite full. They probably need to extend it eventually. Revelio. Wait, can I? Uh, I wanted to break it just to repair it. Dum dum dum. Oh look at that. Lumos! Somewhere around the Shushin guy. I have not seen the Shushin guy yet. Oh, there is the Shushin guy. That, the, 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 uh, the, oh, there is the fifth book. I don't see the butterfly though. Let me look around a bit. Reload. What did what did the picture say? It doesn't specify. So maybe on the other end of it I will see. Rebellion. Nothing to reveal. There it is. Come here, That's you know. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Mm -hmm. But since they're here, I also need to find that Lumos. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's something to discover here. Let me first run back here with this butterfly. Smash it. Nice. Field guard guide pages. I need one more of that, I guess. Tum 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 oh, This is where we came up, right? This is the Shashin guy That's the librarian Oh, she looks like the daughter of the devil What's here? On the wall. Let me go down because I think it's outside. We bring back that girly her books. She was actually nice. If I can take companions, I would rather take the bookworm. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Yeah, that's all right. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Yeah, you better. Now, to work out where I went wrong. 
Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Too late, lady. Too late. Are you guys just trying to not be suspicious? Sitting next to each other in the cold, uncushioned... Uh, I, I don't even know what the, what that called. Like bench? Bench, yeah, it's called bench. <laughs> Alright, folks, that, that I guess will conclude the episode. I, I do need to get to Hogsmeade, Hog, Hogsmeade, but that will be in the next episode. I know, I know, I get, need to get there. And it's... I think it's... Is it up here or is it like through here? Yeah, so it will probably be in the next episode, no matter how much I would like to play this, I have some uh, time I need to step away. But stay tuned for the next episode, where we will continue our majestic journey through Hogwarts Castle with our main man Sebastian here for the moment. The slithering standard bully who met his match this time. This is not primary school anymore. <laughs> Alright, folks, have a fantastic day and see you in the next adventure. <laughs> bye bye.